the formidable robot. It's been quite some time since there was an update around Robotronical. To catch you guys up, here's a rundown. The writer of Helix and the director of Battlestar Galactica, originally joined together to create the cyberpunk hellscape masterpiece known as Robotronical. Not only was production faulty, but the episodes were released online and then removed, only surfaced via archives. The series starred F-Rank, the robotic butcher with an electric axe, C-9, the spastic zany and troublemaker robot, and T-700, the only humanoid cyborg. Spanned only five episodes before being cancelled and shelved. It wasn't until 2021 when it was revealed that a spin-off series was shown at Comic-Con conventions. Tales from Robotronical was a spin-off of Robotronical that took place years after the last episode of the original series. The new robots were shown, named PC, a hacker cyborg that's basically a rebel stereotype, C-12, PC's best friend who's related to C-9 and T-999, the offspring of T-700 respectively. Who's the director and writer? The same guy that wrote Helix is back, Ben Browder and the director was changed, replaced with writer of Ash vs. Evil Dead, Luke Kaltux. The first episode was delayed due to some unforeseen real-life events and then released in July 15, 2022, first act of the first reign. The episode started with an old cyborg news anchor speaking at the camera. Our top story today, the uprising of cyborgs and mankind is at its highest peak. It is unknown of the outcome, but for certain. It isn't pretty, and where are the true heroes of Robot Romical? The screen cuts to black before cutting into a new title card, Tales from Robotronical, and then showing the name of the episode, first act of the first reign. It started with a date, 9710DX. PC was running from a group of cyborg cops before hiding near a secret passageway that lead to a secret hideout. Let me first talk about the voices. Robotronical had acquired its same exact robot voices for quite a bit, but there was some new voices. PC's voice was described as a robotic version of Anonymous's voice, the same voice used in crime shows. C-12's voice was zany, a bit high-pitched and occasionally glitching. T-999's voice was what people were surprised about. It was F-Rank's voice, but deep and monotone. So, you've got a microchip? T-999 said, getting up from his seat. Yeah, I just snuck through the back door off of that bar. PC said, setting down the chip. C12 asked. This chip is supposed to carry answers to what's been going on. PC said to C12. It showed a montage of PC on a computer, hacking and typing. Suddenly, two laser gun sounds were heard, followed by an accompanied ear ripping slam. The door of the hideout was closed. Shit, we're compromised. T-999 said out loud, pulling his arm out and shooting out a laser rope that slid the cyborg police officers from their feet. The two ran. The metallic noises from their feet were heard as the three stopped by a corner. PC smacked C-12's head with a screwdriver. Keep your rust bucket mouth shut. We're arriving at Xavier, the city of Robotronical. PC said quietly towards C-12. The three scooted closer to the corner before making a mad dash run towards the city, and as soon as they arrived, the gate to the city closed. Well, that seems over. T-999 said, brushing themselves. C-12 said in horror as he pointed towards the dilapidated city of Xenia. The camera shifts to a desolate wasteland with model statues of F-Rank T-700 and C-9 standing over. To be continued, was shown on the bottom of the screen with ominous sci-fi-like dramatic music before the episode ended. Over on the Internet Archive, users, Sponge Maniac Studios, Bob the Sponge Fan 99, Mr. Meaty Fanatic Studios, and Goofy Goober Supreme, uploaded the five episodes of Robotronical before their accounts were deleted. Then on YouTube, Anime Master 13 and Oh My Die Studios uploaded three parts to the first episode before releasing the final episode. 
Again, the YouTube accounts get deleted, and the videos were strangely removed. It's strange how we've returned from the show that once vanished, but now returns in a new way.